worrisome for me now that I'm 20 and I'm, you know, growing older each year and I'm learning new things. Um, I feel like I have a lot to, you know, I feel like a lot of people expect a lot from me and, like, I don't even know how to drive yet. Like, <laughs> I'm way too anxious to, to learn how to drive. Like, I, the first time I drove was, was with my mom and I almost crashed into a pole. So that's uh, very scary for me. Um, um, you can't live like this forever. Like, obviously, I'm going to learn how to drive, but I just don't feel like it's the right time. But then again, a, a part of me is telling me, like, when is the right time? You know, you just have to get over it and make it happen. Ew, psychology. 
much during that year and um he's just amazing like I can I can go on and on about him but you know when you have that one person in your life that's that, that makes you feel safe and loved and just it's their like a whole safe person like a safe place for you it's amazing and I really hope that everyone who's watching this has that person in the life uh, because of course you guys deserve it we all deserve that one person in our lives to rely on and to trust and to hold when things are getting hard um so I was very very I am very very grateful for him till this day to this day and um yeah, I, I stepped out of my comfort zone during that year and I made so much progress with my social anxiety. I can now like go to the store alone. I can go to the store without thinking, like overthinking why people are watching me and um, getting over my fear of loneliness and, um, you know, gaining more independence. Like that's just, it's amazing. It's freedom. Um, I even volunteered at, to work amusement park that year and I would you know amusement parks y'all if you if you know you know so many people shit ton of people shit ton of the kids adults teens I was working with many people of different ages genders um and it was such a big place it's such a huge place and so I was alone on my first day I was very grateful that my sister came along with me uh she's beautiful I love her so much <laughs> She came along with me on my first day, uh, as well as my dad, and a very great, very, very grateful. And you know, other days I went alone, so that's a huge milestone for me and my anxiety. And you know, I did it, I did it, and I'm very, very proud of myself to say that I did it and I accomplished something so big. Um, I overcame anxiety. Um, and now, you know, I'm studying youth work and I'm you know, my university is like hours away. It's, it's, I'm like taking public transport away from my house and my home and, you know, um, where I am is like my safe place. It's a safe haven for me and being out and away from my safe place is stressful and scary for me. Um, but you know, I do it, and I, and I do it, and I, you know, that's another accomplishment that I'm really, really, really happy about, and I've accomplished so much, um, I've been, you know, healing, and I've been, you know, I've been healing, and I've been doing great, um, in terms of my anxiety sometimes other days I do break down and cry um and have panic attacks I actually almost had a panic attack two weeks ago in this city uh when I went to uni almost had a panic attack um but luckily I called my dad and everything was okay um I didn't have data and data for me is like it's like that extra bit of safety me it makes me feel safe because I can like contact anyone I mean I can still contact people but I can you know um google things if I if I need to um I can google like where I'm going I don't know if you, like I don't really use google maps because I tend to I don't like to leave like if I have a path that I know that's going to take me to this place I will take that place I'm not taking any shortcut I'm not taking way I will take the long way if it's a way that I know how to get there like if I need to get to point A to point B the long way I'll take the long way because if I don't know the short way then I'm not going to take it I don't care because it makes it just makes me feel safe safer that way going a way that I'm familiar with going down a path that I'm familiar with and that I know that I'm gonna be safe um, and there have been some days where, you know, depression hits and I'm not able to make it to class and anxiety hits and I'm not able to make it to class. Um, but I've been, you know, I've been okay over the past few weeks. 
to the gym like late at night and it was out I cannot remember the word but um I have a comfort youtuber who goes to the gym um her name's Samantha Jo she's a, she has an amazing youtuber I don't know if any of you guys know her but I love her so much um she goes to the, she goes to the gym to you know battle her gym anxiety and that inspired me so late at night I signed up to the guy to the gym, I think it was like 12 a.m. And I signed up the next day. I got a call, and I, you know, they told me to come down and uh, to check out the gym and all that stuff. So I'm going to, to the gym now, and I'm doing things for my mental health. I'm getting my assignments on time. I'm giving, getting my assignments done on time. Um, I've been, you know, treating myself, treating my body, um, I bought a coloring book a few days ago, so I'm doing that to help heal my inner child, I'm playing with Legos, um, like this, you know, those little animal Lego blocks, I do want to buy, like, Sanrio Legos, but they seem so hard to, like, build and all that stuff, but anyways, um, you know, I've been hanging out with my, uh, boyfriend, I've been hanging out with my friends, um, seem like it's okay, just lay your head on your pillow, 
yourself in that little blanket and do watch something, watch your favorite movie, watch your favorite series, forget about it for now because you deserve to feel okay. You deserve to feel okay. <laughs>